undefeated. Um, do, were you part of the? Did you? Were you there when your mother? Was, did you hear what she said to me? Yeah, I heard that. There's no way that you can finish this challenge. Yeah, she really doubted me. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of food. Maybe your mom was right. Hey everyone, Julian here, and today we're driving through a beautiful, 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 beautiful country. I don't know if countryside's the right way, but we're heading to a restaurant. Well, I'm trying to show you guys like these crazy, beautiful hills. I don't know. It's it's freaking awesome nonetheless. Um, anyway, we're heading to a restaurant called Inca. So Inca's Peruvian cuisine. Here to do their big, uh, I think it's called Full of Flavor or Full Flavor Chicken Challenge. So this is a giant rotisserie chicken challenge, a Peruvian style chicken challenge, um, featuring a couple sides. I think you have the choice of like rice, salad, french fries, um, about $80 meal. And it is three whole chickens. Yes, three whole freaking rotisserie chickens, which is insane. Um, you do 40 minutes to complete the challenge and I don't know. I think that's the majority of the info. Um, at that though, I don't know where I'm going. I literally was questioning whether I was heading the right way because this is freaking awesome I'm going through the mountains. But uh, at that, I'll get you some more details when we arrive and Peruvian chicken. I'm excited. Let's go eat. All right, everybody. So here we are with the full flavor plate challenge, whatever you want to call it, which is massive, I got to say. So three whole freaking Pollo de brasas, de la brasa, so rotisserie Peruvian chickens, then rice, salad, and two sauces. But I'm here with Mr. Luis, he is a manager. Luis, can you tell me a little bit, so what's special about the chicken, the rice, and these little things right here? Of course, so the chicken is Peruvian style rotisserie chicken, and it's a Peruvian recipe that's very world famous. And we make it in our ecological oven straight from Peru, brick oven. Yeah, that's really cool. So you have this yeah. massive oven right behind us, actually, which they came, like you said, from Peru. Brick on the inside, metal on the outside. You can fit, what, 30-some chickens in there? Yeah, about 36. 36 birds. That's crazy. And I mean, I mean, you go through a lot of chickens, I'm sure. I'm sure it's, you heard, you're, what, most popular item? One of the most. Yep. One of the most. Sweet. So, and it just, it's obviously rotisserie, but charcoal yes. cooked, right? Charcoal cooked. Yep, smoky flavor, delicious flavor. We serve it with our, uh, our house rice, cilantro infused rice, beautiful salad, and some Peruvian sauces to go with it, traditional cool. sauces. So it's like obviously rice, I see some carrots and peas and spices and cilantro. Cilantro, yeah. I love cilantro. Cilantro is big in Peruvian cuisine, right? It is. Yeah. Guys, love it. If you don't like cilantro, I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but cilantro is amazing. Um, obviously, big salad, some kind of a dressing. What is that there? A uh, Peruvian salad dressing that we have. Uh, it has Peruvian spices, mayo base, really good with the salad. Cool. And then I know, obviously, I have the option to go and do french fries instead of like the one besides here. And french fries, do you guys like season? There's some, you have to call them Peruvian fries. So they're thick cut, but. Thick cut, uh, it has uh, cilantro as well. Really? And the, and the oil has a little bit of a Peruvian uh, pepper as well. Interesting. But not spicy. All right. And now, what are these two sauces? So this is wakatai and wakaina. Wakaina. Wakatai has a Peruvian mint called wakatai. Okay. And it's a creamy uh, sauce. Both of them are creamy sauce. Okay. This one's for the chicken and this is for the rest, the fries or the rice as well. Too. Interesting. Okay, so mint for the chicken and or creamy, cheesy, milky sauce for rice, fries, and dressing. And it looks similar to the dressing kind of thing. So anything and about. All right, sweet. Well, with that, appreciate it. Um, I know I know your your mother, my who's mother? a very passionate woman. I had the the, the, the the blessings of speaking to her on the phone when I called about this challenge. Um, she was saying no one's ever done this. So the most, but you have seen somebody eat two birds before, is that right? Yes. But never three. Never three. 
So no one's ever made it. All right, guys. So undefeated. Um, do, were you part of the? Did you? Were you there when your mother? Was, did you hear what she said to me? Yeah, I heard that. There's no way that you can finish this challenge. Yeah, oh. she really doubted me, but um, she seems like a really great lady, and you can actually. Um, she was on Diner Drive and Dives, whatever Guy yeah, Fury. Diner Drive and Dives. So that was cool. So what, a couple years ago now. Yeah, a few years ago. Yeah. So hey, you can find her there. And now this area is also beautiful, I will say. Huge amount of mountains and stuff. What's this area kind of called? This is called the Catalina Foothills. The Catalina Foothills, yeah. If you've never been just outside of Tucson, kind of ish, still in Tucson, one of the most awesome, coolest, whatever drives ever. So, yeah, at that though, appreciate it, my man. Um, so, that guys, we'll start here just momentarily. Alrighty, buddy, so I am ready to rock and roll. Seriously, this is a freaking huge thing. I got them cut it up, by the way, the magic of editing. You can't tell. It's a lot of freaking chickens. This is a lot of... Three chickens cut up, I think, looks even more intimidating than all together. That's a lot of freaking chickens. And this salad is... This is massive. I'm kind of in shock. This is a lot of food. Um, but yeah, like you said, guys, 40 minutes. And it was an $80 value. So trying to get that meal for free. They also have Inca Coles. is really cool. That's their uh, really famous... Um, Kind of a Peruvian uh, soda, although they don't have a diet, so I'm not drinking them today. But they do a half for them here, which is pretty damn sweet. So with that, guys, where I'm going to start, totally. I'm setting an exam for the kids. Let's start with this muy grande salad, and let's get into some chicken. So, rotisserie. Smells good, though. So with that, um, how about we get rocking and rolling? I'm just going to use my hands. That's acceptable, right? Oh, good yeah. now. All right, guys. Um, what do you say we count, maybe start, maybe kind of like... Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, tomatoes. And you know what's great? Tastes like salad. Exactly what it's supposed to be. I'll try some of the dressing. It's like a mayo base. Mm. Really good. Mm. It reminds me like a, like a Dijon mustard dressing. Hey everyone, welcome to this video and welcome to a super cool and unique video. Here we are eating some Peruvian cuisine. I always enjoy being able to showcase the different cultures, different foods, and their cuisines. As really food is, I'd say, a really good representation or at least provides a lot of information about a certain culture. The types of foods they eat, the ways they eat them, the combinations, and it's really awesome. So now the recipes are coming from a grandmother, is that right? The grandma? All her recipes, yeah. Mm. You've been here for what, like 15 years? We've been here 14, yep, 14 years. 15 years this year, actually. There's not a lot of Peruvian cuisine around Tucson, is there? There's uh, one other restaurant. Mm. One other restaurant, but... I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you guys are here. If you've never had it, Peruvian rotisserie chicken is very good. I am a fan. Alright guys, salad's gone. And some pollo. Pollo a la brasa, which looks very good. Nice and juicy. Oh yeah, just like, look like, guys, even so nice and warm, just rip apart there. All right, woo hoo hoo! And it's marinated, so let's see what it's all about. Mm. Oh yeah, mmm, mmm. You know what? Mmm. Oh, whoa, hold up. Mmm. Hot damn! Wow. Mmm. Right, that was a white, white portion, the breast. I am a breast guy, but I like legs and thighs too. Don't get me wrong, you need a complete package. But holy crap, this is so juicy. Full flavor. Mm. Full flavor. Mm. So I guess there's like a little bit of a, 
ongoing joke with that full flavor claim. I think it was, um, said a lot by the uh, lovely lady during the episode of Diners, that one. <laughs> Very good chicken though. Mm. The spices on it. I'm gonna try to place them. A um, little rosemary, mm. which is very nice. Mm. Mm. Man, the way that oven does these chickens. It like really kind of like crisp that skim, mm. and it's, it makes like the, the meat on the inside then super 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 juicy, and it gets a, like it really preserves the fat content in it too. So here we are at Inca's taking on their full flavor chicken challenge. So the polla de la brasa, um, again, essentially rotisserie chicken, but it is a Peruvian style. So if you've ever had like a standard rotisserie chicken, let's say from, you know, I don't know, a Costco, a Walmart, you kind of an American style, the Peruvian is slightly different. I find the use of the charcoal makes quite a big difference. Additionally, the way they really do the skin in the Peruvian cuisine, I find it, it becomes a lot kind of crisp beer I guess you could say. Alright buddy we're about five minutes in. We have nothing done. <laughs> These are very big chickens. And if crispier is not the right word, maybe like a little bit more mm, kind of like dried, dried, I guess, like it just creates this really nice texture. And then it becomes this perfect canvas for the spices to kind of adhere to and kind of really, um, let's say, bind. And then what was the uh, mint sauce called again? Okay. For the chicken? For the chicken, yes, sir. Let's see what it's all about. Mm. Oh. You know what it's like? It almost reminds me like a mint yogurt slash kind of mayo thing? Mm. Yeah. Flavorful. All over Peru, that's how they serve chicken. The sauces, the rice. One thing which I think a lot of people appreciate too about Peruvian style chicken like this is it is nicely flavored, but it's not spicy. Like there's no heat to it. It is just a lovely combination of fragrant and pleasant kind of spices and herbs, which just on the palate with that juicy chicken, especially when they cooked it here at Inca's, is just like an explosion. I got another um, spicy red sauce I have here. Yeah, like a fresh salsa. So we did have 40 minutes to complete this challenge and that is not a lot of time. But what I do appreciate is the, the value of it. Only about 80 bucks or so. This is definitely a good bit of food, especially with the amount of meat and the amount of chicken. There's just so, so, so much meat, so much chicken in this. And of course this is like, um, you know, the chicken meant for many, many, many people. The standard family pack, you know, is uh, meant to feed four and this is like way bigger. I'm saving these wings, going through the breast first, and on the thighs and legs, mm. very good chicken though, and the sauce is really nice too. I thought it was really cool that they're making all their sauces here as well um, because I find like those fresh sauces, you know, let's say like the uh, one with the mint and etc. It is just so important to get that fresh daily so it's not oxidized. It's very fresh. Right out of the oven. Oh, the sauce. Oh, the the sauce. chicken's very fresh too. 
It is definitely fresh. But that, that green sauce is very refreshing. And then it truly brings out the fresh flavors that you know you would get when you're eating the true cuisine in its native country um, but overall I mean that's pretty much I guess a good overview of the actual challenge the staff here were super cool as well I will give it I do talk quite a bit about the food and about the chicken itself so I won't talk too much more about uh, about any of that well I see why no one has ever eaten this before it's a lot of birds Muy grande, mucho pollo, but very nice. I like it. Definitely share like it's a. a this would be a good meal to again get as a family and share with the family in like one bird. You don't need three, unless you have a really big family. But I will say I was very surprised by how this chicken was tasting and how well it was prepared, and I was hoping to get to try the rice as well. I'm gonna try it with some ketchup. I mean, it's good, but the chicken's good with everything, so that's why it's so good. Because even an item like the chicken skins, which I don't normally like, I was actually really enjoying. So uh, rice is also an item, normally it's not my favorite, but hey, I thought I would give it a shot. Um, and that is what we were hoping to do. But at that, ultimately, let's tune on in, see if we can complete this giant chicken challenge. And that is pretty much the details. So let's tune on in and see what happens. All right, everybody. We're on the thighs and legs. For all y'all, five leg people. Mm. Ooh wee, no shortage of food though. What are we doing? I'm very full. Yeah. I'm definitely very full. <laughs> Honestly, this is I a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of food. Maybe your mom was right. <laughs> Mama's always know best, right? There you go. There's a message for all the children out there. Listen to your moms. Moms usually know best. All right, guys, let's try this thigh. Now, thighs and breasts. It's quite a debate. Listen, it tastes great. I expected nothing different. Um, the seasons are really like complimentary and basic. But there's so many of them and along with that chicken the way it's cooked. creates a very dynamic flavor in the mouth. Oh, that bite. Man. Fresh chicken. If that though, everybody, let me know in the comment down below if you're a white or a dark meat person. Holy chicken though. Woo! Getting my protein in, that's for sure. About, uh, I don't know, 13, 40 maybe? Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, Comments to the chef. That was so good. Mm. 
and that skin's really good. And that's coming from a guy that doesn't like chicken skins normally. What do we have? Do you want another one? <laughs> another what? Another chicken? <laughs> I'm just going to count that as hospitality, really? and they're not trying to kill me, but no. Thank you for the offer. Just let me know. Save them for dessert. <laughs> I have no room for dessert. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Again, Peruvian hospitality. Very, very nice people. The best Eddie. Another reason why you should come here. Again, very friendly people. Yay. Maybe a little too friendly. No, Yay. Hey, you have three plus chickens once some more. And holy crap, that was a heck of a bite. Ooh, really fatty thigh, mint sauce. Mm. All right, though. Hot damn. Last uh, quarter, and then wings. One of the best rotisserie chickens I've ever had, so. Thank you, thank you. Very flavorful. And that's from a guy that just essentially ate three full chickens, you know. Wow. All right, fatty thigh mint sauce, yum. Man, woo! I saved it for the end because they are rich. Man, they're good though. Punch of flavor. White or dark meat? Dark. Dark? White. 50-50 split. Yeah. Right. 19 minutes in. Arroz. Y poquito pollo. And if you made it to this point in the video without skipping, first off, thank you so much. But now let's play a joke on the skippers. Please comment down below something along the lines of, Oh wow, I didn't expect Guy Fury to show up. Or, wow, how did you get Guy Fury in your video? Or something along those lines with Guy Fury. Anyway, have fun with it. I look forward to reading your comments down below. Last piece of chicken. Holy crap though guys, that's a lot of chicken. That's a lot of chicken. I'm sure the average person, well the, the, the family meal, which is one chicken, is made for four people. One piece per chicken. Yeah, one piece per person. Yeah, one I ate 12. Alright. Rice. Cilantro rice. Cilantro piece, yes. <sighs> Alright. So now, it was funny. I asked her a spoon earlier. And she brought me out a spoon the size of my freaking head. And I said, Do you have a smaller spoon? And then she offered me a variety, so. Have a small spoon. Let's try this rice. I like how you guys put in a little pyramids too. It's supposed to be Machu Picchu with the grasses. I was gonna say it goes with goes with the whole Inca. Yes, sir. Here we go. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What? <laughs> Is there like chicken stock or something in it? There's. What, no? Yes, maybe? I love it. No. This really? is just a cilantro. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. That's it? Mm -hmm. And our wonderful cook's touch. Our our got right okay, here. wonderful yeah. cook's touch. I'm thinking there's a little bit of a secret ingredient yeah. or something. Either that or that lady is pure magic. Because this. <laughs> it's delicious, but I don't know how to describe it. Like... It's very full of flavor. Wow, it's like a... 
honestly, I, I would never have guessed cilantro. Yeah. There's a lovely spice again. It's so fresh. I think it's something really fresh now. But it's a very, it has a really hot, like higher salt content, which to me, I almost feel like there's like a chicken stock or something in it. Apparently there's not. Apparently, but <laughs> garlic, garlic in whatever it's in it, it's fantastic. Mm. But it's so much more than I would have than I thought when I heard cilantro infused rice. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of dimension to it. Yeah, it's very good. And that though. Finished? Done. Yeah. Woo. All right, everybody, 24 minutes on the dot. Holy crap, that's a lot of food. Woo, man, I am full. Those chickens are heavy. That salad was huge. That rice was really good, though. Thank you. Again, I'm not, uh, uh, two things, right? So, straight up Joel, if you guys don't know this. One sec. <laughs> Come to the chef. Seriously, very delicious. Uh, a little more. You couldn't hear it, but it was there. Two things I'm not usually big on. Rice and chicken skins. Two things I really enjoyed here today at Inca's. Rice and chicken skins. It was great. Like, the way that, I don't know if it's that oven, your guys' special touch, the recipe, all of the above. Grandma's recipe, that's what we're going to owe to Grandma. Man, those chickens tasted great. Fantastic. It was just this loveliness of juicy and succulent, just the right amount of spice on it, where it was not overpowering, it's not spicy at all. It's just this lovely, nice, friendly seasoning. I don't think anybody's palate could not enjoy that, honestly. And then if you want a little kick or you want a little, like, little something, something, I want these sauces. What's that, mint sauce? Listen, I don't generally like mint items. I've never found a mint sauce before I liked. I hate mint ice cream, blah, blah, blah. That was really good. So like I said, when I was eating that, I was like, I love it, no matter what it is. So I like a mint sauce being this one right here. Um, that though, guys, really enjoyed it overall. No complaints. So that we finally did complete the full flavor, full of flavor, full flavor platter. And uh, shout out to Fatima, the owner. Very, very passionate lady. Again, she couldn't be here today for a family reason, but very passionate lady. And I look forward to watching that episode with Guy Fieri. Uh, I want to check it out because I heard it was quite the... I heard it's quite the blast. So, at that though, thanks you guys. Appreciate you. Thanks for everything. Thank thanks to our friends that came on out as well. Thank you guys so much. And, <coughs> excuse me. Whew. At that, my last comment to the chef. And uh, I can only complain, so we get a meal for free. Definitely had my fill for the day. And that, guys, definitely would recommend checking out Incas. And what's this, what's this area called one more time again? Catalina Foothills. One more time? Catalina Foothills. Catalina Foothills. Honestly, even just come out here for the drive. Like, seriously, driving out here, I was like, is Google taking me the right way? Because I feel like I'm driving out in the middle of the desert, and all of a sudden, oh, Incas. I'm just, it, was, it wasn't quite that dramatic, but it was great. Um, so that, everyone, till next time, that's it. Come out here, grab some food, friendly people. Tell them said hello. Maybe you'll catch Fatima here. And uh, sorry, Mama, you were wrong today. I ate your food. <laughs> you got it. anyone. Appreciate you all. Thank and with that, you. have a lovely day. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. Link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.